Hey there, little buddy. You just purchased this massive space dump truck and don't know what to do next? You heard that you can make money with it, but don't know where or even how to start? Well, don't worry. So are developers. So it's now up to us, the community, to see and find if it's even possible to make fleet carriers useful. Starting with the fuel, repair and restock services. Clearly, everyone needs those so you could cash in on that. Nope, each of these services alone costs at least 50 million. Yes, they are separate purchases. Oh, and when sold, each service loses about 50% of their cost too. And yet, together with the highest tariffs, that would make any man think twice before even docking. On fuel, repair and ammo, you may recoup around 20 million in its lifetime. So let's not kid ourselves, this is idiotic. What about shipyard weapons and modules? People don't buy these as often, but there's more profits in these. Well, ask yourself, would anyone go to your lousy carrier and buy an ASP scout and such if they don't know that you even sell the wretched hell spawn of a ship? Or if you do sell it, then there's any left. Besides, how often people would buy a ship, and better yet, thanks to tariffs, would you buy it for double the price when there's a perfectly good starport nearby? Oh, shush you! Fleet carriers are still awesome! Developers made them for a reason! Oh, so they also then opted not to make a way for anyone to check what the fleet carrier carries, or even a way to advertise that. So what's left for us is to do this. <laughs> Oh yeah, you thought that the Beluga 1 presenters were bad. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet, son. So tell me, why would anyone go to a fleet carrier to buy anything? Especially when you probably have a perfectly good starport nearby that at least you could predict to not gouge you for prices. So if basic ship upkeep is too penniless and selling modules or ships themselves is worse than in any station, plus even if you wanted to support a carrier, there's no way for anyone to know what it sells beyond just going there and wasting your time. Because oh look, the fleet carrier's friends only permit. What else is there left? Um, universal cartographics or redemption offices? Where people who use it get less money than a starport and don't get to support the BGS powers, like when you fight the Targoids, etc. What in the botched horse kidney transplant dumpster dive is there left? Um, uh, commodity markets? Oh, wait, you can't see what the others are selling, so back again to spamming system chats or Discord servers. <sighs> Oh, I know! Make a website where you sell your credits for real cash! Yes, this is perfect for this! No, you scum! Yeah. Bam! Bam. 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 <laughs> Get back to your gimp house! Yeah, seriously, making money with fleet carriers is a joke, a horrible, your mother got stabbed and then punched and finally got a cream pie thrown in her face, kind of a bad joke. I actually had one of my Discord users make a perfect analogy. Fleet carriers are like real horses. They cost a lot, they're big, they're pretty, but you need to take care of them constantly. Buy them stuff and clean it. Make stables or rent them and whatnot. And all that so that you can have some little bit of fun for a very short period of time and then go back to upkeeping and managing it. And then when it dies, you can beat its corpse like Yamix does. In the end, to make good use of fleet carriers is not to buy a fleet carrier, until developers get their heads out of the horse manure and change them. So thank you for listening, this has been my Yamix rant, and I'll be here forever!